Good morning. Welcome back. Well, we have another fabulous dessert recipe that we want you to try um, for Thanksgiving or, or any time during the holidays. This is Mary Hope from De Pere, one of our viewers. Good morning, Mary. Good morning. Well, first of all, thanks for watching and thanks for sending in a recipe. Oh, it was fun. Now, this is an old family recipe. Tell me a little bit about it. Well, my mother made this when um, myself and my eight siblings were kids. Whoa, big family. Yeah. Yeah. Big family. And um, it became traditional to have it over the holidays. And uh, my mother now has Alzheimer's, so I've carried on the tradition Aww. of baking it throughout the holidays, whether Thanksgiving or Christmas, and um, in her honor. So it, it wouldn't be a holiday meal without this for dessert. Right. You know, something right. special when, for sure. When, when my family sees it, they're, they get excited, the cranberry cake. So. How did you get the recipe from her? Because that's a, a lot of people, you know, mom just makes it and doesn't write it down, and then, you know, somebody passes or something. You know, how did you get it? Well, she always kept recipes in a, in a book and saved every little thing and she had a lot of artistic talent so um, it was in the book in the recipe book and we've all got it so that's sure. wonderful mm -hmm. write it down get those special recipes written down yeah, I don't have true. my Nana's lemon meringue pie and uh, I certainly wish I did she passed away before she ever wrote it down so it's so important to get them just beg them to write it down so they don't like to write things down no. <laughs> <laughs> all right so cranberry cake um, put me to work here Okay, um, well, we need the butter melted. Okay, I can if you melt would like that. to do and that. And then also, there's this wonderful rum sauce that goes on top. Should we start right. that as well? Sure, okay. we got to get the butter melted for that. Okay, so how much butter in this? That's a whole stick, a one whole quarter stick. of a pound. And then for the cake? And it's four and a half tablespoons. Okay, for the so cake. I'll let you go ahead and keep doing okay. that. Okay, so we're going to mix the dry ingredients first and stir them together. And this is an easy recipe because you don't even need a mixer. Um, this is the baking powder and a pinch of salt and a cup and a half of sugar to the three cups of flour. So a very simple cake Very recipe. simple. The whole recipe is simple. But Sometimes simple is, is best. And it can be made a day ahead also. Okay. Oh, that's great because that's the one thing I like to get out of the way. Well, I usually pick up desserts, um, <laughs> but a couple of these recipes <laughs> I definitely may try. And in fact, um, Mary, you and I were talking, and I said, do you love to bake? She goes, no, I, I like to cook. <laughs> I'm, I'm not cook. a baker. I'm not the baker. And I'm totally with you, but this is such a simple recipe that uh, anybody can do it. That's right. Okay, so I've got your okay. melted butter. Okay, so that can get poured right in there. And we're going to stir it in along with a cup and a half of, this is whole milk. It gives it a little more creamy flavor okay. to the cake using the whole milk. But you can use, if you want to cut a couple calories or fat content, you could use 1% or skim. Okay. And you just stir the batter together. And I've got my butter melting over here. Okay. Now this is what makes this, kind of probably takes this cake over the top. Is, yeah, that's um, it. Makes it's it so the special. Sauce. The, the rum sauce. So the one whole stick of butter. Mm-hmm. So the cake shouldn't be smooth like a cake box cake. It's got a little, you know. Uh, it's a denser cake. Denser cake. It is okay. a denser um, a denser so a few lumps and bumps is a okay. Yeah, that's fine, and you don't want to overmix it because it it makes it a little tough. And the nice thing is, is this makes recipe makes two two cakes, two two pie pans, or you could use um, a round cake pan, okay, or a square one, okay. And once you have that mix, then you pour in three cups of whole. Whoops, that's okay. Um, clean cranberries, just rinsed off. So you don't even need to chop them or anything. Nope. And that's when they bake, they pop. Oh, okay. it's kind of co cool. And that's the neat thing about this rest the color of this. Mm -hmm. This just screams holiday. I love cranberries, and I'm, it's so sad that we only use them, you know, right. such a short time of the year. All right, so I've got my butter melted. Okay. Now what? Now pour the sugar in. Okay. And the cream. At the same time? Yep. And okay. you're going to want to turn the burner down low. Okay. And, and this is heavy cream, two full cups. Well, it's actually is a pint container. A pint. One so. pint. Mm -hmm. Which is two cups. Okay. Which we figured out before. <laughs> <laughs> so that's real simple. Yep. One stick of butter, was it one cup of sugar? Yep. And a, a pint of heavy whipping cream. I'm liking the sauce more and more. And you just let it uh, now cook slowly for eight minutes, um, stirring occasionally. And um, 
that sugar is going to dissolve. The sugar is going to dissolve, right. So the, the batter is all done. Is it a real thin sauce, this, uh, this um, sauce? It thickens up over the eight minutes, but yes, it is a thin sauce. Okay, all right, so we'll get that going there. So then I always use a pie pan okay. because they turn out, it's just prettier. I think so too. Yeah. And I spray them so that they come out easy. And just divide the batter in two. That's a heavy bowl. Uh, so I know while I'm doing this, there's a couple people you want to say hi to. Name, I know oh. your grandson's out there. My grandson's with his grandpa today. His name is Camden. Aww. He's three months old. Oh, yeah, he's you're going to have delight. fun with him for yeah. the holidays. And I have my friends at Bouget's, which is a little cafe I work at I've in the morning. I've been there. It's wonderful in Depeer. Yeah, a little um, coffee house and bakery. It's wonderful. Wedding yeah, cakes they and They do great desserts. Stuff. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. So I like the fact this makes two cakes, too, because mm -hmm. you, you want to have plenty around, or you could give one. This would be a great holiday gift for someone. Yeah, it would be. It would be a great Make gift. Make them up a knife. You know, we're all watching our pennies. I think this holiday in particular, it's going to be about the homemade things. You know, it's right. not about spending a million bucks. It's baking someone and, and attaching the recipe. You could say, you know catch the recipe with it. I think that's yeah, nice that'd when you be give a, a gift. Or even like make the dry ingredients and yeah. put it in a decorative yeah, jar. Yeah, absolutely. Fun. Okay, so okay, these go into it. the oven and they bake for, here's a 354, uh, about 30 minutes. Okay, all right, so we'll get these in. Keep an eye on them. You don't want this to be real brown, I take it. No. Okay. As soon as the edge is brown, um, and the bottom browns, it's Perfect. done. Get it out. All right, well, let's just slice it up. And then the sauce here, the last ingredient, now I know you probably would have liked this to cook a little bit longer, so while we're, we'll continue to let it, it's, it is thickening up a little bit, um, mm -hmm. but it's not they a real eat, thick sauce. No, is it? no, it is a, it is a thinner sauce, okay. a creamy, uh, buttery sauce. Mm. And then um, we've got some rum here. Yeah, and the rum goes in at the end. At the very end, mm -hmm. so about how much? The whole thing, it's a tablespoon, or a teaspoon and a half. Okay. And that gives it. Or a little more. Who's counting? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it actually has a rum flavoring. Okay. So. <laughs> All right. Good deal. And that's good to know because a lot of people don't want to use rum with the children and things right. like that. So rum right. flavoring works out just fine, yep. too. And you get that right near the vanilla and the grocery store. Okay. Good to know. Yeah. All right. So we'll let you take this to the plate because that's the special part. All right. Um, I cut it like you would a pie. And depending on what your garnish is, how big of a dessert you want. Six is a nice, a nice, um, Here's a spatula. nice slice. Thank you. You're welcome. And I like to use an, a glass plate. Come on over, Sue. You can come. This is, uh, again, Chef Sue Horvath from Fox Valley Tech. And she's going to be our judging this one, too. She's got the tough job do, today of <laughs> eating these just, uh, you know, not so fabulous desserts. Okay, so this goes right over the top Right over the top and it can swim in it. Oh, good. <laughs> good. I'm a sauce person, so I'm all about swimming in it. Is that about good? That's good because okay. you want to, every little bite you want to dip it into the sauce. Ooh. And then I like to garnish it a little bit. This is mint. So I'm going to do a little garnish and some dried cranberries. Looks pretty. i got to get myself a plate. Hold on, hold on. I get to try too. Do you mind slicing me up a little bit? But we're going to let me. Sue take the first bite. Here you go, Susan. And it's just beautiful. It is very pretty. Oops. I love that idea of a sauce on top. Mm -hmm. You know, just you can bake mm -hmm. the cake, cake, get that done ahead of time. Right, you, you can do it the day the ahead even. Mm. But the nice warm sauce yeah. warms up the cake right away too mm -hmm. for you then. Mm. What do you think? Very nice. Great story behind this recipe, oh, too, yes. to kind of carry it on is. the tradition. And she still gets to enjoy it. Mary, thank you so much. Thank you. So who's going to be the big winner? Is it going to be Mary? Is it going to be Sue? 